Dallas Michael John Albert Green born September 29, 1980, is a Canadian musician and singer-songwriter who records under the alias City and Colour. He is also known for his contributions as a singer, rhythm guitarist, and songwriter for the post-hardcore band Alexis on Fire. In 2005, he debuted his first full-length album, Sometimes, which achieved platinum certification in 2006. City and Color began performing in small intimate venues between Alexis on Fire tours. The name City and Color comes from his own name, Dallas, a city, and Green, a color. His reasoning for the name was that he felt uneasy, "...putting the album out under the name Dallas Green". <laughs> Early life Green was born on September 29, 1980 in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. Green was named after Philadelphia Phillies manager Dallas Green. Green has stated that he had gone without a name at first, his mother was considering naming him Graham Todd Green, but his father had bet on the Phillies during the 1980 World Series that October and, after the team won, his parents decided on the name Dallas after the Phillies manager, Green started playing piano at the age of eight and writing music since he was around the age of 14. The first album that he bought with his own money was Alice in Chains Dirt 1992. He bought it on his 12th birthday, on September 29, 1992. Green said that if people want to get to the bottom of why he makes music the way that he does, it is because of Alice in Chains. Regarding the songs released on his first album, Sometimes, Green said that he had been writing material for it as early as when he was 16 years old, and finished writing songs for it in 2005. Music career Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Early work Before joining Alexis on Fire, Green was in a band called Helicon Blue, producing several songs before breaking up. The three-piece band also featured Marcel Lantain on bass and vocal, and Nicolas Achipko on drums. The band recorded a self-titled release with Greg Below from Distort Entertainment, who also recorded a second record with the band. <laughs> Alexis on Fire Dallas began playing with Alexis on Fire in late 2001. They released four albums Alexis on Fire, Watch Out, Crisis, and Old Crows, Young Cardinals and two EPs before disbanding in 2011 due to Dallas' decision to focus on his work in City and Color full-time. Dallas came up with the name of the band from an episode on Discovery Channel. This specific episode was about contortionism. In this show there was a segment on a stripper who added contortionism into her show, as well as lactating and breathing fire. The woman's stage name was Alexis Fire, and the segment was called Alexis on Fire. He thought that this would be a cool name for a band, and that is where it all started. In 2003, Dallas appeared along with Alexis on Fire vocalist George Pettit on Jude the Obscure's album, The Coldest Winter, doing additional vocals on three songs. He contributed vocals to Never Ending White Light's collaborative album Act One, Goodbye Friends of the Heavenly Bodies, released in 2005, on the song, The Grace. Green provided additional vocals on the track, In Rehab, 
with every time I die as well as on the track, Black Albino Bones, with Fucked Up on their second full-length album, The Chemistry of Common Life. <laughs> City and color Topic Sometimes, two thousand and five to two thousand and seven. Green began releasing City and Color songs on the Internet for fans to download. Eventually, he compiled and rewrote several of these songs to make his first album, Sometimes. The full-length debut was released on November 1, 2005, to a good reception, described by one reviewer as, "...dynamically gentle and vulnerable." The cover art was designed by Scott McEwen, in a tattoo-esque style, Green, "...still may decide to have some of them inked at a later point in time." Green indicated that his view that the Best music for him is sad music. Influenced the type of songs he created. He also said that he love s music to sort of escape to, and the idea of sad music that people could identify with. Green said of the album that a lot of those songs are written on some of the experiences I've been through and stuff and that's just how I deal with it. I just write songs when I'm bummed out and I feel happier." Sometimes was re-released on Vagrant Records on January 13, 2009, which was the first time the album was available in physical form in the United States. Topic: Bring Me Your Love, 2008–2009. Bring Me Your Love is Dallas' second full-length album. It was released on February 12, 2008, and features a wide array of instruments not used on his previous recordings, such as harmonica, banjo, drums, and lap steel, giving it a more folk-influenced sound. The album also features collaborations with other musicians, such as Canadian musician Gordon Downey of the Tragically Hip on the track, Sleeping Sickness, and additional instrumentals done by Matt Sullivan and the members of Attack in Black. The lead single, Waiting, Peaked at number 32 on the Canadian Hot 100, the album is named after a short story by Charles Bukowski. It is also a line sung in the closing track, "'As much as I ever could'." Green has stated that he saw Bukowski's book in a bookstore while on tour and adopted the title for his new album. On September 26, 2008, City and Color embarked on their first American tour, in support of Bring Me Your Love. On the tour, the band supported Tegan and Sarah along with Girl in a Coma. This tour was followed by a headlining tour of the U.S. in January 2009, with support from William Elliott Whitmore. In October 2008, Dine Alone Records announced a special two-disc limited edition of Bring Me Your Love to be released on December 2, 2008. Only 6,000 copies were available, 5,000 in North America and 1,000 in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Little Hell 2010 In January 2010, City and Color embarked on an additional U.S. headlining tour, again supporting Bring Me Your Love, with supporting act Lissy, and an additional UK tour in June 2010, supporting Pink, along with Butch Walker, along with a few headlining dates. 
On these tours, Dallas Green has performed two new songs by the titles of Silver and Gold and Oh Sister, as well as a couple of never played before covers, Murderer, originally by Lowe, and Grinnin' in Your Face, originally by Sun House. In an interview with Alter the Press, Green has revealed that he has written a bunch of new songs and he just needs to record them for his next record, hinting on a possible early 2011 release date for his third studio album. He said that there are 15 songs that he really likes and he expects around 10 to appear on his next album. On September 2, 2010, it was announced on MTV News Canada that Dallas had been in the studio with Polaris Prize nominee Shad working on a remix of a Shad song as well as an original song to be released as a 12 vinyl single. Dallas was quoted as saying, I've always wanted to be the Mary J. Blige to somebody's method man. Quote dot. The remix is to Shad's song. Listen. From his latest album TSOL, and the new song that Dallas co-wrote is entitled Live Forever. Quote dot. On September 30, 2010, it was announced that Dallas Green planned to start recording his third studio album in January 2011, after demoing 14 songs. There are a lot of musically unusual songs. Green has said about the record. There's a lot more piano on these songs, keyboards and stuff. And there are a couple of songs almost I would say a bit rockin', if that makes any sense, not in a heavy metal kind of way, but just a little bit more upbeat than what you're used to hearing from me. On November 9, 2010, Dallas announced via Twitter that he would be releasing a new single on iTunes called At the Bird's Foot which will be on a compilation album called Gasoline Rainbows, which also features new songs by such artists as Damien Rice and Amy Cooney. The song was written by Dallas in response to the oil spill in the Gulf. All proceeds from the album will go directly to Global Green USA. At the Bird's Foot was first made available for 48-hour streaming on the Gasoline Rainbows MySpace page on November 23, 2010, and features Amanda Zelina of the band The Coppertone on vocals. In an interview with Reverb magazine's Sean Fraser, Green spilled news of an upcoming 2011 album release, saying, Hopefully I am going to start recording in January so I'm hoping that there will be another album by next summer, spring. On February 15, 2011, Green performed a specially recorded version of Northern Wind on the Valentine's Day episode of One Tree Hill. On February 23, 2011, it was officially announced on the Dine Alone Records website that City and Colors' third album will be titled Little Hell and is set for release in June 2011. On March 23, 2011, the official track listing was posted on City and Colors' official website. Release date for the album was set to June 7, 2011. In an interview with Radar Radio's Regan McLaughlin, Green said I look at people like Bob Dylan back in the day and he'd have pages of lyrics and would have to decide out of seven, eight of nine verses which three were the best. 
I think to myself, I have to struggle to get two verses I am happy with in a song Green also said I think melodies come relatively easy to me because I've been singing so long but lyrics, it's a battle to get to a point when I am happy with a song. On March 27, 2011, City and Color performed Neil Young's Old Man as part of the four-song tribute to Toronto during the Juno Awards of 2011. On April 5, 2011, "'Fragile Bird'", the first single off Little Hell was released to the radio. The song had its world premiere on Australian radio station Triple J, where the band was touring a sold-out tour at the time. The single became City and Colour's highest charting single, reaching number one on the Canadian rock, alternative chart. City and Colour has been announced to be performing as part of the Voodoo Experience 2011, which is held at City Park in New Orleans, Louisiana on October 28–30. On August 5, 2011, Alexis on Fire announced their breakup. George Pettit wrote a message on the band's official website saying Dallas had been planning to leave to focus on City and Color, as balancing the two bands had become too difficult. On December 17, Biffy Clyro announced that City and Color would be the main support on their 2013 Arena Tour, in support of their new album. Topic: The Hurry and the Harm 2013. City and Color announced the release of the new album entitled The Hurry and the Harm to be released on June 4, 2013. The song Of Space and Time was released on March 11, 2013, prior to the announcement of the new album. The track listing includes 12 songs, the special iTunes Deluxe version, available for pre-order in April, will include three extra tracks for a total of 15 new songs. The song, Thirst, was released on April 1, 2013 on City and Colors SoundCloud page. The album was unofficially leaked on May 22, 2013. The album cover shows Dallas Green's face which felt weird for him, since he always wanted his music about his songs and not about himself. In October 2014, City and Color was selected as the headline act for the grand opening of the Meridian Center, St. Catherine's new $50 million hockey and performance arena. Topic. If I Should Go Before You 2015. City and Color announced the release of the new album entitled If I Should Go Before You to be released on October 9, 2015. The song, Woman, was released exclusively on Beats One Station on Apple Music on July 16, 2015, hosted by Zane Lowe. Topic: Guide Me Back Home 2018 In September 2018, City and Color announced the release of a new compilation album of live songs recorded during Dallas 2017, An Evening with City and Color Solo Canadian Tour to be released digitally on October 5, 2018, and physically on November 23, 2018, via Still Records, a new record company set up by Dallas himself. Three tracks from the album were released digitally on September 21, 2018. Casey's Song, Sensible Heart, and As Much As I Ever Could. A further three tracks were released a week later on September 21, 2018. The Girl, Oh Sister, and 
Lava Come Back. In April 2019, City and Colour was the opening act for Alice in Chains Canadian tour and other three U.S. concerts in support of their album Rainier Fog. Green is a longtime fan of the band and has cited them as one of his early influences. He joined them on stage for a rendition of their song, Nutshell a song that Green would often cover during their concerts at the Budweiser Gardens in London, Ontario on April 23, 2019, and at the First Ontario Concert Hall in Hamilton on April 24, 2019. He also sang, "'Got Me Wrong' with the band on April 25 in Rama, on April 27 in Montreal, and on April 28 in Quebec. Alice in Chains guitarist and vocalist Jerry Cantrell gave one of his guitars to Green after they performed together at the MTELUS in Montreal on April 27, 2019. Green has stated that Cantrell made him fall in love with playing a guitar. U plus ME On September 8, 2014, Green announced a collaboration with Pink. The duo, performing under the name U Plus ME, released an album titled Rose Avenue on October 14. The album debuted at number one on the Canadian Albums Chart and at number four on the Billboard 200. Tegan and Sara In 2017, Green covered the Tegan and Sara song Hopper Plane for their 10th anniversary album The Con X, covers. Personal life In 2008, Green married Canadian television host Leah Miller in a private ceremony at their home on New Year's Eve. Green is a supporter of the Toronto Raptors NBA team and the Toronto Blue Jays MLB team. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Discography Topic Alexis on Fire Studio Album Zeeps Topic City and Color Studio Albums Singles Promotional Singles Live Albums and EPs Topic U Plus ME Studio Albums Topic Guest Appearances Studio Albums and EPs Topic Awards and Nominations Two thousand and six Much Music Video Awards nominated for Best Pop Video for Save Your Scissors Nominated for Best Independent Video for Save Your Scissors. One People's Choice, Favorite Artist for Save Your Scissors. 2008 Much Music Video Awards nominated for People's Choice, Favorite Artist for Waiting. Chart Magazine Awards 2006 Artist of the Year 2015 SOCAN Awards National Achievement Award Juno Award Shati and Color has been nominated for 10 Juno Awards and won 3